Understanding waist circumference, a key health indicator. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important and often discussed topic in health and fitness, waist circumference. It's a term you might have come across in health articles, fitness blogs, or even at your doctor's office. Understanding what it means and why it matters can help you make informed decisions about your health. So, let's get started. Waist circumference is the measurement around the smallest area of the waist, usually just above the belly button. It's a simple but effective way to assess the amount of abdominal fat one has. Unlike other measurements, waist circumference gives us a direct insight into the fat distribution around the abdomen, which is crucial for understanding health risks. Waist circumference is more than just a number on a measuring tape. It's a significant health indicator. Research has shown that high amounts of abdominal fat are linked to a higher risk of serious health conditions, such as heart disease, diabetes, and hypertension. By keeping an eye on your waist circumference, you can take early steps to manage your health and prevent potential illnesses. Measuring your waist circumference is easy and can be done at home. Here's how. 1. Find the right spot. Stand and locate the area halfway between your lowest rib and the top of your hip bone. This is usually right above the belly button. 2. Use a measuring tape. Wrap a measuring tape around your waist at the spot you found. Make sure it's snug but not compressing your skin. 3. Take the measurement. Breathe out naturally and then take the measurement. Ensure accuracy by checking that the tape is parallel to the floor. The World Health Organization has set guidelines for what is considered a healthy waist circumference. For men, a waist circumference above 94 centimeters, 37 inches, is considered increased risk, and above 102 centimeters, 40 inches, is substantially increased risk. For women, above 80 centimeters, 31.5 inches, is increased risk, and 88 centimeters, 34.6 inches, is substantially increased risk. However, these numbers can vary based on ethnic background and individual health factors. We hope this video has shed some light on waist circumference and its importance for your health. Remember, it's not just about the numbers, but what they represent in terms of your overall health and risk factors. If you're concerned about your waist circumference, consider talking to a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Stay healthy, and see you in our next video.